Welcome back to Manifold Garden. Last time we did mostly just a bunch of walking. There wasn't really much to do, like, haven't been many puzzles overall so far. I mean, there was that one about the two blue cubes and walking across the white field or whatever, and now we have one here. But yeah, let's see what this one is all about. We need to get a purple and an orange cube to either side here. Seems pretty simple, and we have red, red cubes to help two of them. So I guess you use that in order to, like, boost them up or something. Do you even need to? Hold on. Whoa! Whoa! Is this, like, a double? Ah, I see. Now we're getting a new mechanic. It's like a double tree where the fruits are of both... Gravities, ah, there are no fruits on this side. So then, obviously, if we go here, and I pluck these off, then, oh yeah, they work normally, they fall onto the purple, but then if I switch, they're fine, but then if I switch again, they'll now behave according to orange gravity. So there we go. And that's why we need the red cubes, because we need to place one here, and then place the red cube on top to pin it into place. I see. And we need both of them. Yeah. And can you only do that on one? Yeah. On this one? Oh, yeah, I guess it would be fine either way. But yeah, we have to do that to keep it there so it doesn't fall down. And now we go back and get the purple version. And there we go. Again, fairly simple puzzle. Nothing behind me. Or is there? That's where I came from, right? Yeah, so this recurs at a pretty rapid rate as well. And once again, it just seems to be a connector. But let's just have a quick look around then. Yeah, that's just going back again. A lot of these connector screens... You can't see any hidden doors or anything, but... Who knows, maybe. Maybe there's something. Oh boy. Just one staircase down and that's all we get. Just one staircase down, and that's all we get. Gonna continue like that? Just more staircases? Oh god. Help! I want to break free! Does- Oh, wait! No, that's the same. But I am getting to, like, new locations, right? Oh, yeah, this- This isn't looping? I thought we were just in an infinite loop. Um, suspicious bit of light there. But wait, this one just takes me outside, does it? No. No, that, that's just back up. I see. You can see the, like, apartment complex or whatever over there. And this is where we're going, of course, but there looks to be something, maybe. Just trying to look around as many corners as I possibly can. Here we go. Oh, music's picking up. So this just takes us outside, but then what is... Oh, what is happening with this tree? Why do I need a yellow tree?
I need a yellow cube outside here? I guess so. Oh god. I mean, I guess you just have to drop it. Is it frozen in midair? Yeah. So you can do that. And I assume we need a yellow cube up here or over there. I mean, I guess that's... No, that's not the same, is it? No, that is the same, yeah. So I guess we just fall up? Just make sure I don't miss anything. Yeah, right there, we need it. Oh, and you can fall forever here. Oh, so that's what I saw. I guess there is nothing hidden here. I mean, there there might be, for all I know, but... Not that one thing I saw. Yeah, okay, well, let's try and head back then. Yeah, like, I like the atmosphere and the visuals, but so far it's been very much just kind of a walking simulator. Very bare bones on the puzzles, but maybe it'll step it up, I don't know. But if it doesn't, I guess that's not the worst. Also, it seems like every time I say that and I complain, or not, not even complaining, but just remark on how few puzzles there are, we get a new puzzle mechanic, so I should just keep doing that. Ah, okay, well, this is simple. Balls are unaffected by gravity completely. Well, no, no, they're not. But, you know, like, they they don't adhere to only one plane of gravity. They will always fall towards the, like, universal down that I'm on. Yeah, okay. Simple. So that's probably going to come into play where we have like juggle multiple balls and have them not fall where they shouldn't. Oh, that was a weird audio cut. Oh god. Oh, here we go. Corruption again. Am I gonna, like, let in the corruption? What's over here? Nothing? Yeah. Oh boy, yep. Balls need to fall. And here's another dark cube, I suppose. The red dark cube. And what what is up here? Shit. All right, let's catch it on the rotation. Yeah, what is, what is that about? Whoops. Whoops! Didn't mean to do that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what this means. Is that like a receiver of some kind? Because I don't think I have to put the, uh, the red cube on there. But I guess I'll put this somewhere... I guess I'll take it with me. There's a, a ball dropper again. Ah! Whoa! Shit!
Oh, and here's another red tree. But is this one in use? Yeah, that's the one that I already have. So I can take this again, but then I've used up the stairway one. Yeah, okay. So I guess that's just in case you uh, left it behind or misplace it or something. But yeah, not like you need this, really. Right? Like, we could easily have just fallen up and then landed here and walked in. And there's stuff on the ceilings as well. And well, since it auto-saves every three minutes, I guess I don't need to really worry about, like, making saves all the time. Manually. You know, what's this about? Is this just so that I can, like... Oh, no. Here's something. I was gonna say so that I can, like... Have the balls dropping and have a place to drop them from. This is where I'm placing the cube, yeah. To, like, collapse the dimension. So that's the, like, corrupt tree or something, I don't know. But then the question is, once we get the dark red cube, will I be able to do something like I did the dark blue? Where there's, there's probably gonna be, like, some point where on the red side there's one of those, like, dark barriers that I would have wanted to have the dark red cube for. And if you don't do that, do you just miss out on those forever? I don't really know. Ooh. Nice music. I'm almost, like, wondering if you are meant to do this kind of thing. Where am I going now? Uh, opposite this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Where am I even, like, taking it? Um. How do I fall this way? I guess I do this, and then drop down here. Now we can do that. Oh, is it done there? Aha! Oh, I see. And this is orange. We need to put an orange block here from somewhere before that ball can pass, and that's probably gonna, like, fall back a lot when I switch back and forth. But what can you do? Hmm. You know, we haven't really been over there. That looks like something. Uh huh. Oh, it's just the map room again. But we don't have maps for any area. Yeah. So this is kind of pointless right now, right? And now the good music stopped. Damn it. Yeah, I feel like this is kind of the, the last place I haven't looked. Well, not really. I guess I could look on the underside and stuff, but... What is happening here? Nothing. Is there something on top?
No. In fact, this almost looks like you're not supposed to see it. Hmm. Then where am I going? That's where I need the orange. Yeah, well, I, I guess this is what I asked for. More puzzles, like actual puzzles and not just walking around. Yeah, that, that ball is just gonna go like wherever it wants. You know, where would a ball be? An orange ball? And wait, orange is which side? This one. So if I just like fall around on this layer, can I... Ah, there! Aha! I didn't really see that. And where do we need to take that? Right there. And the ball is magically in place. It did not fall all the way back. Lucky me. And where is it going now then? That way, and then this way. Is it down now? I don't even know. Yeah, it's it's down down there. So, it's just over here. Oh my god! Yeah, it's nice that it's shining pretty bright. Makes it easier to keep track of. Oh, did I not wait long enough or is it like stuck at that point? No, okay, I just didn't wait long enough. Oh, something happened. So what? Why did that happen exactly? Whoa! Here we go. Dark world time. What was here? Ah, this one. I see. So that was what all of that led to. And this place only had one single laser. Oh boy. Yeah, part of me wants to, like, save a backup at this point. I wish you could save manually on different slots in-game. I don't think you can. Because once you, uh, save game, it just saves it. And now we're in the Dark World. So yeah, if I try and... Oh! Oh, interesting. You can't... Wait, you can't save at all in the Dark World? Because if so, I should have saved earlier. Damn. Maybe it's just like once this is done. Yeah, now I can save. Okay. So, just save here. It just saves there. Can't do anything about that. We can't, like, copy anything. So, I mean, I'm just gonna make a quick backup, and then we'll continue on. Alright, there. I assume... Oh, whoops. Saved game. I assume... Oh, interesting. It does actually update. Ah! The screenshot updates, but this looks like the same save as before. So yeah, it should be the same here. Oh, areas discovered too. Interesting. So that's what that counts, I guess. When you find a dark world or something? That's when, when you find an area, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, I should have a save now. In case I can't find anything to take this dark cube to, but then like later on in the game I do find that, oh shit, I was supposed to take it over here or something. So wait, where is this? It's right there, which is like over here? Yeah, up there. Because yeah, I don't remember seeing any dark walls or anything, so... 
I suppose we'll just have to to go. Just plug it in where it's supposed to be plugged in. Oh, right, that's where I started. I see. You could have just walked up the stairs. And it doesn't, like, dissipate this, uh, white field. All right. Yeah, all right. I guess here we go. Doesn't seem to be much you can do with this one. And they all get collapsed together. And I hold down mouse one. This weird, like, mandala thing. I am holding left click. You can even see in the bottom right how long you have to hold it for. So if I let go now, it just goes back. I don't know what we're doing with that though, like focusing in on this dimension or reality or something. I don't know. And there we go. Now we have a red concave cube. And the birds are free again. And this thing is out to play. Huh. Yeah, I feel like I might have missed something here, but I guess for now we'll just kind of progress onward as you're meant to, and we'll worry about secrets and stuff later on. Yeah, now we're in the same area again, and we just come out, so like, up there, yeah, that's where, uh, is it actually opposite? Yeah, red and blue are opposites. I don't quite have that, like, 100% memorized yet. But yeah, so blue is opposite red, and now we can grow the red side. And it looks pretty much the same. Same as uh, the blue side. Same water fountains, red birds instead of blue birds. And nothing to actually do or interact with. Just continue on, I suppose. So this is like the progression of the game. Another connector, of course. But do we see anything suspicious anywhere? Not from what I can tell. Not even like behind it here? Nope, nothing. Oh! Wait! Oh! Oh shit! I'm here! In the alternate path! Oh! Did I just, like... Did I sequence break in a way? And no, I guess not, like... Surely going the alternate path was intended because you could take the, like, dark cube and go through the dark layer. But I guess that's not your only chance. If you miss out on unlocking the door at that point, you can probably, like, come in here from another point and maybe take a blue box like this one all the way back? Is that possible? To open it or something? Huh. But yeah, this is where I where I was in the alternate path. And there's only one blue fruit, blue cube. Oh wait, no! No, no, no! This is, this is where we were last time. I thought this was like the original alternate path, but no, this is just where we went before going in to the like purple and 
orange puzzle. And yeah, I have one blue cube. I now need to go into this side and get another blue cube so that we can get both of them over here. I see. Once again, let's drop off and check for anything unusual. Can't see anything. And are we going to like the green area now? Possibly. Another little fountain there. Huh. Is that fountain gonna like run out if we open the door? What the hell is this? Whoa! Place another one here? Whoa! This really is like Starseed Pilgrim a lot, so when there's water, you can place them, place a cube to like grow it as a seed. And now that is used up, what? R, Q, or scroll wheel? Why though? Why would I need to do that? Oh, does this arrow actually have something important to do? What does that mean, then? Oh, I see! Oh my god! Okay! So that's a new mechanic! Wow! Alright, water bending. Interesting! Well, I guess I'm gonna have to leave it there for today. Yeah, this is nice. I'm liking this. We're getting a few more mechanics thrown into the mix, one at a time. I hope it keeps adding complexity and stuff, and keeps adding things you can do, and maybe more branching paths and stuff, but we'll see. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!